The first thing we're going to do is take off the old dressing. So make sure you put gloves on and you'll take an alcohol pad and you want to lift the corner and pull to the center. And you can use the alcohol pad to help degrade the adhesive. these gloves inside out so your trash is on the inside of the glove and this part. Then I like to get a new pair of gloves to open my packages. You have a bio patch which is usually used on central lines and a central line dressing change kit. Open it. Take your bio patch, open it. touch it, but you do want to put it in your side your sterile package. This kit has a mask, and if it has a mask and you're doing a central line dressing change, you'll want to put it on the patient. Usually, you'll put one on yourself, too. Then you have your sterile gloves, and you can put these on. So remember your sterile glove technique, so you'll be doing the same thing here. Okay, now you have a sterile drape. which can be useful to make your sterile table. You can put it on your patient's chest, but it usually will just fall off anyways. So I just put it next. Remember your gloves are sterile. You wanna keep them as clean as possible. You have a dressing bio patch. Um, iodine swabs, which we will not use. Alcohol swabs, you can go ahead and Tear that open. Okay. You have a gauze, tape, and tweezers. This one's really nice because it does have tweezers. The measuring tape is to measure how far out the this is sterile. That's right. How far out the central line is from the body. So you would measure how far it is, but don't get your gloves contaminated. And that way, if it moves, you'll know exactly how far to make the dressing. So you'll take your swabs. Since I already have them here, I'll just go ahead and take them out of my package and they're still sterile, sterile to sterile. And this little tweezers is nice for holding up the catheter. So you start in the center and you're going to work your way out so you can do this you don't backtrack and you just go in a circle from the inside out and this dress is pretty big so you're going to go as far out as your dressing is going to be then you throw this one away You're going to do the same thing. So you're going to do that 
three times. In the same way. And I also like to come and clean this up as well all the way to the top. Then you will let that dry. You can put that down. So you'll put the bio patch on and usually it will say which side up. So this one actually says up. So that's the upside. You're not supposed to fan the patient. You're supposed to just let it dry. Then you're going to cover this up. I kind of need to move this over. Well, it's not going to stay. You're going to push it to the middle, push down in the middle, then push out to the sides. And you pull the outside part off. Save this part because you'll write on it. If it did like that in a real patient, I would sit there and wrap it around but don't cover up the connectors or pieces that you need to use and just make sure it's pressed down really well now i can discard these gloves then i would wash my hands then i would write name your initials the date and the time that you changed the dressing when you put the tab on the dressing, you want to put it where it does not cover what it's, what it's the dressing is for. So you don't want to cover up an IV site, and you don't want to cover up this. Then you would throw all of your stuff in the garbage, and that's it.